True or false? A budget is highly recommended to manage your finances. I guess true. Correct. I like that. How often should you request your credit report? Every three months, at least every 12 months, or every six months? I mean, I, I would just stay in the middle, B. Correct, you could never go wrong with the middle answer. <laughs> <laughs> Learned that in the basics. What is the largest purchase slash investment that you are likely to make? This is multiple choice. A, a car, B, a vacation, C, a house. I would say C, but I mean, A, if you buy a crazy car, you might have your collector's item or something, you might, have to, you might, might flip it, you know what I mean? Your Bugatti could be more than your house. <laughs> so, <laughs> judges, are we taking A and C? Because uh, during the pandemic, it was the SVJ that was like 500000 and then after it was like 900000 1.2 mil. I mean, we I don't going know. With both are correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so, fill in the blank. Your emergency fund is your blank against any difficult financial situation due to a loss of income or unexpected expenses. Audience. Audience participation. <laughs> Lifeline. He's phoning a friend. Lifeline. Lifeline. Safety net, insurance, protection. Those are all in line. Um, the answer is line of defense. <laughs> line of defense. So that's, that's a tough one, right? That's tough, but that, it, it could be a variety of different. I answers. think all these answers made, made sense. This is that, the yeah. financial crew right here. Yes. 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 <laughs> they locked in. Yes. <laughs> yes. They said Jordan's coming. We're, we're coming with him. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Now it's your turn to ask us questions uh, to see how we do. What spending or saving habits should I adopt to financially prepare myself? for unseen circumstances. You know, Jay-Z has some of the best lines ever. And when he said, uh, in anticipation for precipitation, that chips for a rainy day, that's something that we just live by, right? Like, it's gonna rain at some point. This is something that is vitally important. Curve your spending, live below your means, learn to save money, have financial discipline, because eventually hard times are gonna come. It's a blessing if you're prepared. It's a crisis if you're not prepared. One word, man. <laughs> That's crazy. How do you balance between getting the best deals and making the most of every dollar and spurging on clothes, shoes, events, and travel? You would think the more money you make, the easier it is, but it actually becomes harder because now you can, you can spend more money. You have to go back to discipline, right? Because it's like, all right, how many watches can you really buy? Is it worth $5,000 for a sweater? Probably not. For us, I think it's a balance because it is important and that's part of who we are. Like, you know, we like nice things, but we have to do it responsibly. I think there's two ways that you can look at money and most people, they look at money as like a voucher. You get paid and that's a voucher to spend to buy things. That's a never ending cycle of just like being on a treadmill. But when you look at it as a tool to make more money, then it becomes increasingly hard to waste. Cause it's like, if I look at this dollar as an opportunity to make $3, I gotta be convinced to spend this $1, right? Cause now I'm actually losing money in that scenario. So looking at it as a tool, as opposed to a voucher, changes the whole dynamic and the relationship with money and makes it a lot harder to just spend the money frivolously. The segment is called investing in the W. So credit is an essential factor when purchasing a home or other life moments. Did anyone ever talk to you about the importance of credit? If so, when did you become knowledgeable about the role of credit? I want to be honest, never. Mm. I mean, we watched it on commercials and TV shows, but to that point, I think as you know, I got older, went to college and you know, had an opportunity to learn about stuff like that. But that comes with age. Got to go through trials, tribulations. Now I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have people that I trust to make those decisions and look at that stuff. But yeah, I mean, I think all life is about uh, experiencing what you go through. So we've seen you visit the communities in the Philippines. Uh, I want to know how important it is to honor your roots uh, of your Filipino heritage and how important that is to the community. It means a lot going back there. Um, they supported me since they found out that I was Filipino, honestly. 
showing love, trying to figure out how, how we gonna get them on the national team, how we gonna do this. You know, it's always been love, and I always wanted to represent uh, the country and where I, you know, my roots, my heritage. You speak any Tagalog? Nah, 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 I, I, I barely can speak English. <laughs> 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 what is the, one of the biggest takeaways that you heard today from uh, Jordan? I think the biggest takeaway that I learned from Jordan was to stay in your own lane, not be influenced by other people. Um, and not only from just a business standpoint, but just in life in general, right? And you strike me as the type of person that you're not really too concerned with what other people think. You're doing your own thing. You're comfortable in your own skin. Um, and that's extremely important when it comes to business, when it comes to finances. But like I said, just in general, a lot of people are swayed by public opinion. So don't be afraid to be yourself. One of my biggest takeaways is like the power of education and what it can do from a young man who starts as a second round draft pick to a rookie in Los Angeles to now being a veteran who now leads uh, his younger teammates in Utah. It's a, it's a, it's a powerful, powerful message, man. Best thing about education, you never know everything. <laughs> Straight up, you just keep learning. No matter what it is, because people being here before us, the new generation, they think a different way. It's all about soaking it in and you know figuring it out. Jordan, been a pleasure. Make some noise for the legend himself, Jordan. There you have it, Chase. It's a wrap. Wrap on set. <laughs>